The lockdown in March was everything we weren't prepared for. Before we knew it, we were quarantined inside our homes living the same day on repeat. Between staring at each other and staring at the news, coronavirus cases kept rising. Watching the healthcare workers struggling to contain the pandemic gave a lot of us sleepless nights. Then it was morning again and the monotony continued. Somewhere amidst all of that though, we did get introduced to something new, yet our very own. 50 days ago, when we found ourselves face to face with the reality of a pandemic, we also started thinking about hibernation for our brains and self-care rituals. We've come to realize that the simple act of breathing in and then out can be self-care. It's something so simple. We've been doing it from the moment we were born. We've come to realize that yoga is not just something that looks good on Instagram, but is also a gateway into understanding how our mind and body are connected. It grounds us and cultivates self-love. The same goes for all of the other forms of workout. So when avoiding people became a social necessity, we started to realize the true importance of preserving good mental health. Let us see how our teachers are taking care of their minds while staying away from school.